This is Tuesday, the 5th of December, 2023, with the Capital Media News Brief. I'm Ishran Robinson. In our news this Tuesday, with the popular street character Ninja Man now officially charged with stealing a number of historical artifacts from Parliament, totaling nearly $100,000, the Democratic Labour Party is now calling for an official review of the security measures there. General Secretary of the Democratic Labour Party, Steve Blackett, also told Capital Media this afternoon that other charges should be brought against any other parties involved. In other news, there's ongoing concern from top officials locally about the mental health crisis in Barbados. Acting Prime Minister Sanjay Bradshaw and Minister of State in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Sonia Brown, said though that government is seeking to address those concerns. Meanwhile, there are a number of underfunded private pension plans in Barbados that require urgent attention. Central Bank Governor Dr. Kevin Greenwich has said, and Chief Executive Officer of the Financial Services Commission FSC Dr. Wart Ward assures it's a matter that is engaging his team even as he highlighted other red flags in the sector. According to Greenwich, of the 248 registered occupational pension plans, approximately one quarter were underfunded on both a going concern and solvency basis. To news from the region, a Wisconsin pastor accused of sexually exploiting children from Venezuela and Cuba was sentenced on Monday, the 4th of December 2023, to 15 years in federal prison. Corey Herthel, 40, pleaded guilty in August to one count of sexual abuse exploitation of a child. Still in regional news, a U.S. woman was killed by a shark while paddle boarding in the Bahamas on Monday, according to local police. The unidentified 44-year-old victim from Boston was attacked less than a mile off the shore of New Providence Island, where the Bahamian capital of Nassau is located. And on the international scene, there's a huge risk of terrorist attacks in the European Union over the coming holiday season, a senior European Union official has said. European Home Affairs Commission Yalva Johansson said the polarization in society caused by the Israeli-Hamas war was increasing the risk of violence. And finally, today's weather is mostly sunny with an average humidity of 64% and winds of 14 miles per hour. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a chance of rain and thunderstorms. With the Capital Media News Brief, I'm Ishran Robinson.